Welcome to the Blonde Eye Lizard 54 channel. And today's video, which I haven't made in a long time, gotta go for the jungle of old fence fence. Replace that fence in the time. I got a rear end out of a Another grandma lawnmower, which was a cookie dad, as you can see. See here, and that there came off of a Kubota, which is for another video. This one, I think, runs. Where I see is this runs. And unfortunately, we can't use the pull cord. And also, the, the Cord didn't even come off this mower. It came off the snap, the little snapper, not this one. But unfortunately, I took the battery out of it, so we know with a battery in it, it's gonna start. And I had, no, I took that stuff off. It has no throttle on it, so I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta come down here. And I gotta move that lever for throttle. So I gotta go get get the battery. Get the battery sticking in there. It's not like this mower where you it has to take the seat off to put the battery in there. And by the way, the battery doesn't even fit in that lawnmower anymore, so I want to put it right there. So that's why we're not gonna start this one. It probably needs its annual start on the engine so the engine don't go bad. I just right now I'm just gonna see if this engine ran because I think it set well it was in in the in that building for a little bit. And it sat in the garage over there for I had all three months. And it was over here since like July, August. I forget. I don't really remember. And I, and I always keep forgetting to make you a mowing video, and now it is too late. So let me get that battery put in, and I see you back here, and I put the camera somewhere so you can watch the engine run or start. Maybe I roll some coal. You know, who knows? Here's the battery I'm going to be putting in that mower. And this is the same battery. Yeah, this battery operates, I guess, three lawnmowers. Yeah, this battery, this battery, what I used to start this lawnmower and this lawnmower and the little snapper engine rider in that building is going to be started with that battery because I'm not cheap. So let me put that battery in. And I'll be back. Got the battery in. I might have to tighten it. Let's see. Oh yeah. We all hate these. Wait, we gotta check something. Turn the key back up. We gotta check something under here and I might as well show you guys. I think I showed you a video of this, but I pulley swapped it. And this pulley swap didn't turn out too good. So I need, need to rush the clutch in. There's no good way to do this. I need to rush the clutch in while operating the camera. The video cut off, so I'm gonna show you. You press the clutch in. And. Never mind, I can't really show you too well. You do that because I'm not planning on operating this lawnmower today. I may operate today, but I'm going to unhook that for right now. I'm going to get on it. Not going to close the hood. I got to press that back in, you know. I don't know what that was. I probably need to go tighten it, so let me go find a wrench. I should put the parking brake. No, I don't want to do that right now before I forget. 
I know that hood's falling off. I think I did that because I tried to fit it on this one. I'll have to fix that later. Let me go get to see if I can fix this. If I can't fix them, it's a jump start with the Kubota. The wrench I use is 7 16 to tighten those down. Yours might be a little different, but mine's 7 16 Got. I think we gotta put this thing back on. Like, I don't know. Okay, let's get on just in case it drives, you know. I... Hold on. Check this. How about this? This Murray style hood, take it off. The rest of it's an MTD. I don't know what's. Why, they, why don't they just call all these MTDs? That's exactly what this is. I don't know. It's running. I don't know. I'm not probably doing it right. Hey, we forgot to check one of the most important things. I think the one. Yep, we gotta go get some um some gasoline. I'll be back. It's in that barn there. I don't want to walk too far. Oh, it's almost falling. Um, I put some a little bit of gas in it. I can't put too much because we need to go get some more about out. Look, we can go to the gas station and get it for two dollars a gallon. I think that needs to be four. Here, I should go find out where my tripod is. I bought. I think make no, it's not. It's it's in the house. Uh, don't know a good spot, but you can sure hear it. I gotta hook the clutch thing back, fix that, before we can really drive it. I don't know, we should see this one. Well, both of these things have the same problem. I don't wanna put any more projects in the shop, so my little Romeo slash now lawnmower shed, well, it was Romeo, cause he, there was a fake fence right there. He jumped over. Now he can't even tell. He jumped over something. Yeah, this is where he, this is his um, bedroom about like four years ago. Now it's a lawnmower shed, and that one over there, it may turn into a lawnmower shed, or this may just all be back to a Romeo shed. Who knows? I did put straw in because I thought the lawnmower needed some straw. And some weird grass. I'm just take the weed or knock it down because I don't feel like it's gonna die. So I may add some more to this video. I don't know. I make an outro later. Thanks for watching. 
I removed the. Wait, is that it? Not that. Not for you guys to worry about. I removed the. That thing. Uh, I forget what that's called. Well, this is open. That's closed. That's open. So, what I'm thinking about doing, going in there, get a piece of wire, tie it on that little hole or something. And then, that's something I forgot I did to this thing. But this air filter goes in a John Deere E140, that lawnmower over there goes in that. That came out of this one. And I made a custom wooden um, piece to make that fit tighter. So I need to get a new air filter for this thing. Can't use the John Deere air filters every time. I was the only reason I was using John Deere air filters was just because I don't really drive this much. Cause that one, I don't know. Let me go get a piece of wire and I'll be back. Should put that stuff I can shot. I'll do that later. Cause the I think the roof here leaks, so it's, that's gonna get wet and ruined. Well, I have to start this soon, anyways. So. That's hot, but you can spit on it and then burn the spit. Let's check the oil, make sure it's not burning. Yeah, this oil's been in here for like two years because I don't change the oil on these. Oh, I do, but I just don't ride it real. I probably should change the oil. Eh? If, I ever get, if I ever get this thing fixed correctly, 
I will start changing the oil in it every year. But it's not really worth changing the oil in it every year. And here's something that I think I showed you this on a previous video. But I took all the deck stuff off. There's no deck to pan it. There's nothing nothing to do with the deck on this thing anymore. Except for the pulley, which I flipped upside down, drew a hole through it. Like that Chuck Re7 guy's done. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting paw. I have the front out of that. I'm thinking about putting in here. They can't put it in here. Maybe if I do something to the Kubota. No, no, no. That one you said is too big. Probably go find an old Honda four wheeler or something. But, or it can convert it to a three wheeler, but that requires a lot of welding. Uh, let me put this Murray style hood back on. When I get the other lawnmower, when I get my uncle's lawnmower, if I ever get it, I'm going to see if that hood will fit on here. I know that one doesn't. Maybe a. I think his is a husky hood, and it should fit on here. Cause all this back here's the same. It's just I think this here's a little different. I don't know. I'm gonna put that hood on. See what? And take it out there. Maybe hook that pulley up. Open that green gate and drive around the field. And break the front end of I would hook it up to the little trailer, but the little trailer has a rear bar or wheel on it and. Another wheel, and you guys don't know, it's that yellow thing over there by the leaf blower. This vehicle's frightening to me. So I think I make may make a sec a separate video about driving around if I drive it around, or I make just drive around a little bit without filming. Who knows? I was gonna drive drive it up and down the road. I don't know if I should film that or not. Just let me know if you want to see that. And I, I'm going to pull it out there for the Instagram pictures for the in the thumbnail with the hood on. So everyone knows how to upload the video. Thanks for watching. Yep, that's a good picture right there. The Murray. Yeah, it looks good from down here on the ground where all the, you know, chickens see. I don't know. We're just going to add this. I may drive out. I got to go find my dry, tripod. Either I go out the gate down there to drive down the road or I drive in the field. Who knows? I guess you can wait and see. Oh, I'm going to show you something. This thing has been in here long enough to start making the, the wheat in here. Rot hooker. I don't know. I may drive it around. I think I'll upload this video. Then I may make the video of driving it around first. And if you don't see this video, then... Well, of course you see this video because it's... I don't know. I'm afraid you should start, stop recording. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more... I uh, mean, messing around with junk lawnmowers or get a brand new lawnmower, which modify that John Deere probably. Or if you want to see me make videos of fixing that old snapper mower, rear engine rider, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if this video gets 500 likes, I would start doing more and more and more and more in video. The dust cap, I think I took off. So, let's we'll see if this beast runs. I haven't run it in several months.
you're getting. A lawnmower is too dangerous to drive around. I don't know if I want to drive it back up here or not. I think the last time I drove it up here, I got it in the shed. I know I was playing gas in it, but I stopped it. I will push it. Cause darn is in neutral for some reason. Okay. This video must get 50 views. And if it gets 50 views, I start looking on Amazon or something else. A website for parts. I, need, I know I need a pulley. Maybe a clutch. Maybe a smaller pulley so I don't kill myself. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that. I don't know. I gotta go talk to Four Leaf about, about some stuff. About doing a video together. Uh, so, thanks for watching this part of this video. It's probably the most dangerous video. No, it ain't the most dangerous video because I think I have another video of this. It may be one of the most, maybe the most dangerous video with a lawnmower on YouTube. Probably is. So thanks for watching. And if you want to do this to this to this lawnmower, if you have a lawnmower like this, you put the pulley upside down, drill a hole for the shaft, put a bolt in, and I'm not responsible for if you get hurt. They'll do it at your own risk. And do not even take in the woods because it goes too fast for the woods. Because I did that almost right into a tree. And there's my tripod. So thanks for watching. <laughs>